What's going on YouTube? Onyx back on this Ultimate Team and I have no clue who the other movers cards are yet. I All I know is 24 hour Frank Gore and somebody has already pulled him and uh, let's let's take a look. I've been waiting for him to come out. I, I, I figured they had to at some point put out a Frank Gore card. I mean he did switch teams and he's definitely a better running back than uh, Reggie Bush and his career so I kind of figured at some point he would get a better card uh, than the 94 season vet card he has and he got a better card it's not exactly that much better if you compare it to the season vet card he has even though it's a 98 overall uh, same ball carry vision I think everything a lot of stuff is basically the same it's a he's a little faster uh, I think the the season vet card has like 95 speed with like 94 excel and 93 agility so I think they made him a little bit faster nothing too crazy 96 speed 95 excel 94 carry 97 truck 90 elusiveness all pretty good carries actually a little bit on the low side but Frank Gore has never really been known for holding on to the ball very well very good pass blocker and wow 98 juke move 95 stiff arm. it really good all-around running back uh, not the fastest but outside of that he just looks like he can do everything pretty well good juke move good spin move good stiff arm high trucking uh, good elusiveness and really high ball carry vision compared to most other running backs and like I said really good pass blocker um, and he's good in the pass game 73 route running with 81 spec catch what's his actual catch look like what is your catch, Frank? Ah, uh, 71 catch, though. How are you a good route runner, but you can't catch? He, his, his spec catch is higher than his actual catch. 71 normal catch, and I think his spec catch was like 81 or something like that. Which is weird for a running back. It makes no sense. For a running back, at least. There's some wide receivers that can make one-handed catches all day and can't fucking catch regular passes to save their lives aka Braylon Edwards but uh yeah that's that's very weird for a running back usually if they can catch they can catch um, not high spec catch make one-handed catches and stuff like that but uh, you get it in two hands and he might drop it I don't know that's weird it looks like he's decent in the past game that 71 catch is a little worrisome a little on the low end for a running back looks like he might drop some stuff out of the backfield but other than that it looks like a decent card wish he was a little bit faster I wish they would have gave him a little bit more acceleration but outside of that it still looks like a very good card uh, I definitely wouldn't pay what this guy has him up for but he's a new card so obviously he's gonna get thrown up for crazy prices until uh, people figure out what he sells for and whatnot but yeah let me see if I can figure out what these other mover cards are alright so I found a couple more of them one of them 90 overall left outside linebacker Brooks Reed god he's already extremely cheap well he is a 90 overall card so makes sense for him to be a cheap and he cannot play coverage to save his life so we see that he is just a pass rusher and he already got bought we can go find him I've, I've seen a couple of the cards now so we'll just go back and find that Brooks Reed but yeah, he's he's just a pass rusher, as we can see with that 69 zone coverage, 88 block shade, 87 speed, 86 strength, 94 excel, 94 tackle, 94 pursuit. Um, doesn't look like a a bad pass rusher if you are using them in a 3-4. Um, at this point though, there's probably other pass rushers that are just as good who can also at least decently cover. 69 zone coverage is just horrible. Uh, 95 power move only 88 block shed is also not the greatest at this point in time 92 hit power is also pretty low at this point in time and can he catch I mean it, it really doesn't matter if he can catch or not because he can't cover so 63 catch kind of goes hand in hand with his horrible coverage I did not know he went to Atlanta but yeah Brooks Reed uh, at this point in time I still Malcolm Smith is Malcolm Smith and Pernell, Pernell McPhee are definitely way better choices than that Brooks Reed. Uh, let's see what this Raheem Moore look like. 93 overall Raheem Moore. 
because that Kendrick Lewis was actually a, a very nice card. This other NFL mover, 93 safety. So Raheem Moore should be a decent card. 94 speed, 91 excel. Whew. That's a little on the low end, especially compared to that uh, Kendrick that Kendrick card, who's 94 speed, 99 excel, which is just crazy. But 95 zone, 84 tackle, 90 hit power, 83 play rec, 82 awareness, 95 agility, okay. What else you got over here? 93 jump. What was his catch? I know I passed 86 catch. So your boy can catch. 93 jump. It's not bad. And he has really good coverage. An 88 spec catch. Okay, so he doesn't look like a bad safety. He looks like a pretty good 93 overall safety. I still would probably pick this Kendrick Lewis over him, though. Just my opinion. Just off of that one, that 99 excel and they're basically similar heights Kendrick Lewis hits harder um, Raheem Moore has better coverage it's kinda it, it's it's what it's really whichever one you would rather pick like I said that 99 excel though uh, Raheem Moore can catch better but Kendrick Lewis can still catch as you can see but like I said Kendrick Lewis can hit harder and I think his block shit is better than that Raheem Moore see he has spec catch too what was that Raheem Moore's block shit Kendricks was 78. What's Raheem's? I don't think I paid attention to how Raheem Moore block shit when I came down here. See, only 65 block shit. So he looks more like a coverage safety. Uh, not going to be that helpful in the run game. 76 pursuit too. Yeah, he's 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 a coverage safety. And uh, I wouldn't really expect too much out of him in the run game. Even though he has decent tackle and decent, decent hit power. But 76 pursuit and 65 block shit is just, at this point in time, really horrible uh, for a safety. Like I said, he, ha he has really good coverage stats, though. So if, you're, if your safeties don't really have to make tackles for you, then uh, I wouldn't really worry too much and put him back there. He looks like a very good coverage safety. But I don't know too many teams whose safeties don't have to make tackles for him. So... Uh, saying that he looks like he would get blocked very easily but uh, let's see if we can find out who else is in this movers for today oh man 95 overall Mike Wallace the new Viking getting traded to the Vikings oh no did he he's did he get traded or did he signed with them oh he signed with them Kenny Stills got traded to the Dolphins and they let Mike Wallace go yeah okay 99 speed Mike Wallace really 99 speed 98 Excel Wow so after we get 99 speed Brashad Perriman we now also get 99 speed Mike Wallace who's a little smaller than Brashad but a better route runner and just a better polished receiver 92 route running is nice also with that 99 speed uh, 88 release could be better but it's definitely not horrible 94 catching traffic is a little on the low side but 97 spec catch with that 99 speed he looks like he's just gonna be ridiculous at running streaks 99 speed 98 excel Wow I might have to pick this Mike Wallace up and give him a give him a little bit of a try I know he probably can't block to save his life though 58 run block 98 juke move is nice Woo, 35 impact block oh my god like I figured, he can't block to save his life. But other than that, he looks like a very good speed card. Um, I don't think his price is going to drop like the 95 uh, Jeremy Macklin's price did, where he's like 20 something K right now. As you can see, this one just sold for 22K. I don't think Mike Wallace is ever going to get that cheap. He's obviously going to get cheaper than this. As you can see, these two that are up right now are like 130, 140K. I definitely see him getting cheaper than that so i would definitely wait for more of him to get up on the auction block to uh, pick him up but i definitely don't think he's gonna get 20k cheap especially 99 speed receivers they don't usually drop that low for anybody that fast but uh, i'm not sure if that's it let me see let me see if i can find out if that's all the movers for today Okay, so yeah, that's it. It's just uh, those three in 24-hour uh, Frank Gore. So Mike Wallace, Frank Gore, Raheem Moore, and uh, Brooks Reed are it. So other than Frank Gore, Mike Wallace really looks like the only the only NFL mover that I'm even 
remotely interested in so once his price drops as you can see he's already down to 98k for one uh like i said once more people open some more packs and get some more mike wallace's and he gets up on the block some more he's definitely gonna drop below that so once that happens i might pick up that mike wallace see what he looking like but other than that that's gonna be it for this one i'm onyx and i'm out of here